Hi, I'm Angela Schneider with Long Thread Media. I'm a weaver, spinner, knitter, teacher, and maker of small things. I'm going to be showing you how to make a pin loom woven flower out of two little squares. I've got a bunch of pin loom squares here. I've got a petal color and a leaf color that I'm going to use. I'm going to take either a crochet hook, or I usually like to use a latch hook, pick up one of your squares Find the thread that goes down the middle of in both directions. Find that intersection. And catch the cross of the two threads that are right in the center and give them a yank. And what's going to happen is the square turns into this little cup shape. As you gather up the centers of each edge. So there's my leaf. I'm going to take my petal color, find the center in both directions. And if you need to, you can count how many threads it is from the edge. And I think that is my center. It's actually the eighth thread in from either edge. Oops, I did not count that right. It is this one. So I've got my intersection and my center two threads pull on it to make a nice cup shape and it tends to get a little smushed. I can sculpt that into more of a flower shape. I've got my petals and my leaves. If you take the leaf and turn it over, you'll find there's a hole in the middle where those threads were pulled. Put the hook through, grab the petal, and take the loops from the bottom of the petal and pull it through. them oriented the way you like and then turn it over I'm going to split the two loops coming from the green from my leaf at the bottom I'm going to pull my loops from the petal on either side so they're going on either side of the green loops the green loops are going to cross on top of them I'm going to tie the two pinks in a knot I'm just using a square knot, which is the old left over right, right over left. And if it gets difficult because the knots are so small, that's when you can use a crochet hook or a latch hook. Either one will work, but I'll show you how the latch hook does it. I can catch one of the loops and use it to pull that knot closed. Very handy tool. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the green pull my loops up and tie a knot. Same thing that's a little tight. I'll use the crochet hook this time just to show you. Catch that loop. Pull it through. I'm going to turn it over. There's my flower shape. It kind of needs a little sculpting back into shape. Now for the center, I took away. For the center, I've got a nice little golden colored bead here and a sharp needle with a piece of fine thread. Stitch up through the center. Leaving a little tail on the back for tying. Go through the bead. stitch right back down through the center. Pull on my thread so it's nice and straight in the middle. And I'll tie another knot on the back. And there's my little flower. And at this point, I can stitch it onto a purse or a hat or whatever project that I'm making, or 
I can take a little jewelry pin back like this and stitch that onto the back like I did this one, and then your flower can move to wherever you feel like wearing it. You can make yourself a whole bouquet.